Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you for uh, thank you for this council that gathers to uh, help guide uh, your city, Father. Father, we ask for um, uh, a word from you. Um, we pray that uh, this council is led in a direction that's um, guided by you. Father, we thank you and we praise you. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. Amen. Lucas, please. Congratulations to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, 
Brian Meyer has reviewed the bid. As you can see, Mr. Squires uh, is, is low bid and uh, is, is ready to go. Uh, it is recommendation of staff that the city council uh, approve the RF, uh, proposal as submitted by Squire Drill. Oh, you see that? Anybody up here? He's the local guy, too. Uh, Tologa, Barnett, Shaggs, I'm not Tologa. Anybody up here? Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion that we approve Squire's drilling for the contract. It's Squire. All right. I'll second. Trustee Cuba? Yes. Trustee Martinez? Yes. Trustee Cruz? Yes. Trustee Lowry? Yes. And Chairman? Yes. What is that going to be? Uh, yes. I will tell the uh, council and the audience that uh, we have drilled a test hole, not a test well, but a test hole. The purpose of that is to determine the soil profile so that uh, the winning uh, contractor, which requires in the state, can order what's called the gravel pack and uh, the, the casing that goes in the <coughs> We have gone as far as we can and tried to expedite this, uh, this process. And we will notify Mr. Squires after this meeting. <laughs> All right. Just the reports. See the manager supporting hands? Um, at this time, I would uh, ask Jeremy that you would come up and uh, introduce your guest. <laughs> Basically, John Bannon here is our regional manager for the central region of Central Trent. So I'll basically let you know. I think I'll introduce himself a little more and y'all can ask me questions. Once again, my name is John Bannon, uh, the regional general manager for Severn Trent, and uh, been with Severn Trent now for five and a half years. Prior to that, uh, I was in this region covering Oklahoma, Kansas, and Missouri as the regional safety manager uh, covering risk management that sort. So I've been in the position since October and uh, glad to take an opportunity to uh, come out here and uh, meet with council and see our operations out here. How long are you staying? Uh, so far till tonight. Are <laughs> <laughs> so, you with Jeremy? Uh, no, no, I'll actually I'm head back to the city and uh, <laughs> it's uh, probably safer that way. Yeah. <laughs> I live in Yukon. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I live in Yukon, so just down the road, please. Glad to have you guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate the opportunity. Appreciate it. Anything else? No, sir. All right, participation. Is there a motion to adjourn this portion of the meeting? So moved. Second. Trustee Cuba? Yes. Trustee Lowry? Yes. Trustee Martinez? Yes. Trustee Cruz? Yes. And Chair? Yes. Let's see the council agenda. Motion for approval of the consent agenda. So <coughs> Second. Councilman Huber? Yes. Councilman Lowry? Yes. Councilman Rodolph? Yes. Councilman Martinez? Yes. And Mayor? Yeah. Yes, Mayor. Action item A. Resolution 837 regarding permits and fees. Toby? Please. <coughs> <coughs> As uh, as you guys got in your in your council packets, uh, the the proposed increases for permits, uh, basic license um, for the city of Clinton. Um, by my knowledge, nothing has been uh, increased in the last eight years um, due to the time it takes for inspections, uh, the time for the secretary to to do uh, renewal notices. Um, I thought it would uh, be a in, uh, be a, an improvement on the increase. So, like the, the city code says, to ensure that such services furnished by the city shall not lose uh, as uh, lose money for the services. So, uh, does anybody have any questions on on what I proposed? Are we losing money on? Well, if, if, if you look at some of the, the licenses, uh, you know, they're, they're a $5 fee currently. The time you, the secretary generates all those 
sends them all out by mail. If they don't respond, you know, then you got to send a second notice. Well, at five dollars, there's not. So yeah, so there's another. One. Yeah, you know, these are user fees that are intended mm -hmm. to be people that require this type of service. And as in the case with all user fees, if the, if the people that are requiring the service don't pay it, then the general public is subsidizing what, what they're doing. They're, they're basically annual fees. Uh, I mean, they're not monthly fees. Uh, um, and, the, well, I, and the benefits of raising them other than to just to meet our costs. Cost. Mm -hmm. Like the guy, we had that new billboard. There was no electronic billboard, I can imagine. You know, the guy who put that up there is making a lot of money. I don't think the, the CD collecting and the general public should have to subsidize that guy because he's paying five bucks instead of 25. Did you check with some other communities? Yes, I did. Um, on, uh, on this licensing, the permits, um, I've, I've looked online, um, Elk City, uh, El Reno, Enid, Sand Springs, Yukon, Shawnee, and Ada. Some of those I could find some on, and some of them I had their fees posted. Uh, like, uh, for instance, a uh, pawn broker, um, which currently is at $10, I propose $25. Um, El Reno's at $50, Enid's at $50. So we would still be less than, than some of them. Uh, Secondhand store uh, increase it to $25, Ada's at $50, Enid's at $20. So some of them were up, some of them were, were below other towns. Uh, as far as uh, permits, uh, the base price uh, now on a residential, or my proposal is $40. Elk City, their base is uh, $24. But then for, every, for five openings and more, then you add 50 cents per opening. So there's, there's lots of variables and lots of ways uh, to look at it, um, you know, plumbing permit uh, with gas is $54. Ours uh, plumbing permit uh, currently is $25. $25. And if this is a sizable construction such as Hutch's, mm -hmm. I know you spend quite a bit of time going yes. out there and inspecting whenever they call us. It. So it's, it's not like it's, it's a one time thing that happens. It does occupy a lot of staff time. Some of the permits that are cheaper than ours they implement a inspection fee. Um, anywhere from, uh, some of them were at 55 up to close to $80. Uh, tell me on uh, the mobile home and mobile home part. Yes, sir. It was at 10, that's 20. Is that, a, that an annual thing? Yes, it is. For the owner of the mobile home park. Yes, and whether you have one or 20 in your park, it's, it's just a flat fee. Is $20. Um, and that one seems to get, uh, we have to send multiple notices for them to come in to, to pay the, the, the fee on that. Uh, you know, uh, Enid, uh, they have, theirs is $50 plus uh, parks, plus $2.50 uh, per space over 20. So we're still less, quite a bit less than that. I mean, ours is just a flat fee. Well, your time should be more. What's your time? Man? Oh, yeah. Not $20. $10. $20. Any of these numbers are uh, subject to revision by the council if that's what you so choose. You can well, I, my personal opinion is I don't think now's a good time to raise rates. You know, we just got through raising water rates, and uh, I, I personally would like to look a little, look at it a little bit more. You know, we've had this for about three or four days. I'm, I'm personally not ready. Uh, the new, all new construction, commercial and residential, was left alone. So that, that has not increased. Uh, the uh, general permit for residential loan, uh, what, I, what I based it off of was two inspections uh, at one hour each and then 30 minutes for the secretary to generate the permit and things like that. So the well, last time it's been still. Thank okay, you. Bob. Take a look at it. Well, I think it's been eight years and that's probably six or seven years too long to have waited to look at it. I mean, that's probably, in most businesses probably revisit their fees. I know we do on an annual basis and make changes when necessary. And I think, I think Toby's probably done some good work and some research.
research, and I think we're probably still behind on some of these. And that's your correct. Well, now, Toby, you said eight years. Have you been here slightly more than eight years? <laughs> and some of those were in effect when I started here. Which was in 1930. <laughs> 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 so these are just suggestions. Uh, when, when, I, when I first seen it and seen some of the rates, um, some of them are, are double of what they are now. Um, some of them are, are, you know, three or four times as much as they are. And I was, I was, I kind of feel like Don, uh, to be honest with you, uh, right, right now, because of that. I, I, I feel like I'd like to do a little more research. Um, but again, like you said, like the mobile home part, you know, it's from 10 to 20. I mean, it is double, but $20 really isn't. I don't feel like that's not main correct. If, if, I mean, if it's just a one one time thing, uh, once a year, I mean, 20, 20 bucks isn't, uh, that's not a lot. No, I, 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 I think it's the city would have addressed this, you know, you address your fees every year. I think it's the city would have revisited this every other year for every third year. You probably wouldn't show up at this point in time to where the increases would be of the magnitude. There wouldn't be any of but like, you know, like Lisa says, this is where we are, this is where we've been for some time. I understand that. Yeah. I, I, would, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I would just, I would just <laughs> like to see what what our our effective cost is right now to provide these services. Therefore, I can really justify in, increasing the rates um, at this time. I, I'm not, I'm not against raising the rates. I just don't typically like to just raise rates because it's been eight years and they haven't been adjusted. I, I would like to see, you know, what our cost is to provide these services and if, and if need be, we may even need to be looking at a, at a greater increase uh, if, if, if that's if that's warranted. That's my only thought. Might not be a bad idea, it's like we can have a three two we can table it. Table to the next meeting and tell me if you want to pre address to do some more homework, I suppose. Okay. I want to say that I'm going to have money to since there's no way that if a guy is going to come to Clinton with an ice cream truck or a pawnbroker or a beer package or a beer license, that the difference in $25 and $50, $10 and $25 is going to make him change his mind. That is not reality. On, on the ice cream truck, uh, he needs in 100 And he got so, I mean, like I said, you can't compare every town because I couldn't find fees on, on, on a lot of them in some of my kids. He's thinking about the ice cream truck and eating it or Clinton. He's probably not looking at the license. Yeah. That's a choice to fight. But, but again, if the licensing fee is, is effective at it, $25, why, why would you need to raise it to 100 What would be the point to raise it if, if the licensing fee is, a, is, a, is effectively um, cutting our covering our costs at this point. I mean, that's my only, that's my only argument. I, I, just, I believe on on vending trucks and stuff like that, we have to do background checks or fingerprints. I guess they do county, and then Lisa does a lot of does paperwork along with uh, Bobby. Can we be provide that information, you know, up front so that we can justify raising the rates? I, I mean, I I, like I can I can break it down. I would like to see. What uh, whether in that city, what their fees are. Jordan was out of the office today, and I couldn't. The website didn't have it, and I did talk about Brad, the building inspector over there, and he told me he would get that to me today. But, but you see our point. I mean, you sure? Yeah. Sure. We get this packet on Friday, and then here you want us to make a decision on sure. Tuesday night. That's fine. And I will try to get some more information, like how many of these licenses there is. Um, you know, an, an estimated amount of time that it takes to uh, to generate the licenses and, and what time of the year and things like that. I mean, uh, the general contractors or your, your uh, like your plumbers, mechanical, uh, electricians, roofers, those fees won't be they won't be increased. <coughs> the residential increases. Commercial. You want to put on you want to put on this next.
we're getting them up there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're on the reading about the love. We're going to put it on the next meeting. Any emotions that don't make me? No. So if you want to go down, I'll do a little more homework. I'll do some more homework. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. A little action. Good set. Action out of me. Condemnation. Are we going to be back up? Probably 500 or 15. I guess I'll send a little bit.
assuming the number of violations this property has caused that you calls from people in the neighborhood? Yes. Yes. The property to the north there, they, they made some significant improvements to the exterior. Yes. Own. They, that house in the one directly to the north of that, they've done a lot of work there. Uh, you know, the uh, violations have gone back all the way to this seven. And there's been people in, lived in and out of there. Um, I, I've, in fact, been in the house. Some of it's good, okay, and some of it's not. Uh, the majority of it's not. But, have uh, they lived in there since all that? Uh, no, that's since okay. the last time. Okay. I had a gentleman who was wanting to rent it, and uh, I was in there, and, and I was like, see around the seals of the windows I said I said I don't think it's uh, it'll be it'll cost me more easy than it would to, to find another place to rent it's just going to sit there that's the one the I do have one more question so he is the property owner at this point we don't know if, a, if there was an next can or uh, I did the just what I do is I, I uh, contact the abstract office and they do a title search on the property because I have to notify all mortgage and lien holders. Um, it shows that he is the, the sole owner. Uh, there's no other, um, taxes are paid up, so somebody's paying the taxes on it, but uh, there's no mortgages, liens, uh, suit pending anything on it. We might check with the treasurer's office and see who's paying the taxes. Okay. Thank you. We might probably uh, go ahead and condemn it. But the, the, note, the, the address of notification was a house on 16th Street. But like I said, I sent that back on uh, uh, back in December, and it's I have not received anything back that they either picked it up or denied it. And usually the post office attempts to serve them three times in about 18 day time period and if they don't sign for them. Well, we trust you to do it and damn it, but why don't you check? There might not have been any at the long time because of long stay. Sure. And she uh, might check and see who's been paying the taxes, but in, in the meantime, I make a motion we can see the combination. You're yes. saying second that motion? Councilman Hurdle. Yes. Councilman Howard? Yes. Councilman Hewlett? Yes. Councilman Martinez? Yes. And the mayor? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, I receive appointments to the mayor. Currently, in the Midwestern Oklahoma Industrial Foundation, I think is what this is called, there are three members that represent the city of Clinton. Two of them are expiring. That would be Jason Hewlett and Gustav. And the third one is uh, Steve Hewitt occupies that. In drinking, I'm wrong with you, but I believe in your conversations with these people, they're wanting someone to fill Steve's place. Plus, so you really have three uh, spots. To well, why don't we put Jason back on there and put you on there and we? I second that. He <laughs> 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 didn't say that he made a motion. I said, why? That was the question. I'll make that in the form of a motion. I'll say, yeah. Councilman Rudolph? Yes. Councilman Martinez? Yes. Councilman Kublin? Yes. Councilman Lowry? Yes. Yes. Lisa, don't they have meetings once a month? Is that correct? Right? No. But no. The, the Industrial Foundation uh, meets once annually. Oh, annually. Okay. And yeah, then MOTA. Uh, Board meets monthly. You're on. on. Motor is the parent organization. He's on the motor board. Motor board. Okay. I went to one and it was catered. It was catered well. <laughs> <laughs> it was concrete catering. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, actually, I need increase to ONG franchise. We received this notification from the Oklahoma Natural Gas saying that due to what they term as favored nation status, which means that they have this arrangement with another community, they, the city of Clinton, if they so chose, could increase your franchise fee from 3 to 4%. 
Um, I talked to Elk City today. I think I bet you guys were aware of the survey. I talked to Elk City today. And they were not, that ONG is their provider, but uh, they were not in receipt of this letter. Uh, uh, yeah, Weatherford has, I believe they have another provider. I don't know the center one. one. Yeah, it's the center point. Uh, they told me they had no intention of going from 3 to 4%, but I don't know if they have the option to go from 3 to 4%. Well, I don't think we need to raise, raise 3 to 4 We just got their raising water rates. We cut their rates back. I don't know what going on. would happen. It actually, it's something that charged the consumer. Oh, it's, it's a pastor. It's, it's a surcharge on your bill. bill. Surcharge on the bill. I make the motion we don't do it. Mm -hmm. Sir, I'll with that. Councilman Murdoch? Yes. Councilman Martinez? Yes. Councilman Lowry? Yes. Councilman Hewlett? Yes. And Mayor? Yes. So before we go any further, I just wanted to like to understand the staff wasn't making the recommendation to approve or uh, to increase the franchise rate, but this it was necessary to bring this to okay. your attention and have you take action with the city council. It looks like it was contracted in there, but the nation's So can we raise it at any point now? Um, that, that, I, was that, option? that I can't answer. Good shape for whoever the property owner is. Really? Yeah. 